It's three o'clock on Friday afternoon. It must be trivia, trivia time. time. <laughs> Yay. Welcome to Rossmore Recreation TV. It's live on the air once again for our sixth episode. Believe it or not, we're still going strong. I'm Brian Pennebaker. I'm special events coordinator for Rossmore Recreation. And I want you to welcome my co-host, Elena. Hi, Elena. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, you're not Elena. What are you waiting for? Elena. <laughs> oh, you're waving to Elena. Okay. All right. Your enthusiasm is good. I shouldn't discourage that. All right. We've got three great players today. Let's say hello to Kent. Kent, how are you today? I'm doing good. All right. Very good. Welcome, welcome from Awachita. Washita. I was close. All right. <laughs> we also have Joan. Hello, Joan. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Joan. Yeah. Thanks for playing today, Joan. And we've also got Betty. Hey, Betty. Hi. Hello. First time. First time, first time caller, long time listener. Yeah. Right. All right. So we've got five exciting categories, very different. Every week it's different on trivia time a little bit. Um, we'll get the ball rolling here, then we'll say hello to everybody in a few minutes. All right. Our first category is San Francisco. Questions about San Francisco. Oh. So, um, um, I'm from um, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles. Well, that's where okay. that is. I bet you'll know these, but maybe you will, maybe you won't. Either way. So after I ask the question, I'll probably ask it a second time. Then after that, I'll say answers, please. So we'll hold up our letters. And Elena is keeping score throughout just for fun, mainly, and see how we all do. All right, question number one. This famous dessert was invented by a Japanese resident of San Francisco. Was it A, a hot fudge sundae, B, red velvet cake, or C, fortune cookie? Famous dessert invented in San Francisco. A, hot fudge sundae, B, red velvet cake, C, fortune cookie. All right, answers please. Oh, we're off to a great start. Yes, correct. See, it is. Fortune cookie was invented in San Francisco. How about that? All right, away we go. Next category is romantic comedies. <laughs> <laughs> Kent's going to run this category. He already oh, yeah. told me. <laughs> <laughs> in Pretty Woman, which of the following is a rule Julia Roberts' character abides by? A, never see the same man twice. B, never kiss on the mouth. C, never talk to strangers. The Roberts and Pretty Woman. Don't hold your letter up yet. Don't oh. hold your letter up yet. Oh, I know. I did. <laughs> I'll say answers, please. Even if you know it right away, I know it's tempting. All right, oh, answers, sorry. please. Sorry. That's okay. It is B, never kiss on the mouth. Mm. She eventually changed like that, that, that rule later on in the movie, but. We'll get into that. All right. My third category, then we'll move on to Elena. The human body. These are kind of fill in the blank ones. So Kent's, Kent's, Kent's on board for this. He was an ER physician, so he should know these. The blank <laughs> is the hardest working muscle in the body. Every day it creates enough energy to drive a truck more than 15 miles. Over a lifetime, that's equivalent to driving to the moon and back. Hardest working muscle in the body. Is it A, the spleen? B, the heart, C, the brain. A, spleen, B, heart, C, brain. Answers, please. <laughs> correct heart. All right. That's yeah, the only the muscle spleen. you mentioned. Yeah. All right. All right. So my first category is on junk food. So French fries came from A, Belgium. B, France, or C, Ireland? Where did French fries come from? Belgium, France, or Ireland? Answers, please. A mm. is correct. They came Oops. from Belgium. Well done, Kent. That's a tough one. All right. And we're actually, in honor of everything that's going on in the world, um, the mammal, the bat, has not been getting a lot of love lately. So I did a, um, some research on bats. So that will be our next category. Number one, of the 1,240 species of bats, 
How many of them solely rely on blood? How many of those bats solely rely on blood? Is it A, three species, B, 700, or C, 25? How many of them rely on blood? Mm. Well, okay. guess time. All right. Go ahead, answers, please. It's actually A, only three bat kinds rely on blood. Okay, back to you, Brian. Okie dokie. All right, we're back to San Francisco. What is the steepest street in San Francisco? The steepest. A, Lombard Street. B, Filbert Street. C, Post Street. Keep a street in San Francisco. Is it A. Lombard, B. Filbert, C. Post? Answers, please. Not the obvious. This was a trick question. Yeah, Lombard's yeah, the most famous knew. windy street, but it's actually yeah. Filbert Street. Yeah, I knew you did it. Thirty-one point five degrees. That's a steep. <laughs> street. So yeah, don't ride your skateboard down that one. All right. <laughs> Romantic comedies. In Sleepless in Seattle, what film did Tom Hanks say scared every man in America? A, Fatal Attraction. B, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. C, Baby, whoops, Basic Instinct. Tom Hanks said this one scared every man in America in Sleepless in Seattle. A, Fatal Attraction. B, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. C, Basic Instinct answers, please. Correct answer is A, Fatal Attraction. In the early 90s, these fishing on it was. She might be ignored. Okay, the human body. The brain is this percent fat, but it still works hard. At any given time, your brain can generate up to 25 watts of power, enough to power a light bulb. I'm not sure how that works, but that's what they say. Okay, so the brain is either A, 10% fat, B, 6% fat, C, 1% fat. Kind of interesting. I didn't know there was fat in the brain, but no. anyway, so A, 10%, B, 6%, C, 1%. Answers, please. Well done, Betty. It's 6%. Well, got it. <laughs> learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, it's a learning experience, too. Isn't that fun? It's a bonus. There you go. All right, let's talk about popcorn. Popcorn can pop up to how many feet into the air? Is it three feet, six feet, or two feet? How high up can popcorn pop? A, three feet, B, six feet, or C, two feet? Answers, please. It's A. It can pop up three feet into the air. <laughs> All right. The Bracken Bat Cave is the largest bat cave in the world. Where is it found? Is it either A, in Oregon, B, Texas, or C, Hong Kong? Where is a Bracken Bat Cave found? A, Oregon, B, Texas or C, Hong Kong? Answers, please. <laughs> B, it's found in Texas, the largest bat cave in the world. Wow. All right. Well done, you guys. We're going to take a quick break here just to kind of check in with you guys, see how you're doing. It's, gosh, it's, it's what, May 29th or something today? Time yeah. Almost into June. It's been a long time. We've been kind of holed up. Um, Kent, how, how have you been doing? What have you been doing to keep yourself busy during these crazy times? Well, I, uh, each day I go to the golf course and walk in the yeah. evening now. Used to walk in the afternoon and sit, sit by the the uh, creek there is nice. Right. Nice to see all the little animals, the baby That's animals. Right. Keeping track of them, the uh, which ones are surviving and not. Coyotes apparently getting a lot of them. And then during the day, it's on the computer, playing internet Scrabble against the computer or different things like that. And not much else. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Thanks, Ken. Glad you're doing well. Good to see you again. And Joan, what have you been doing these days? What do you well, <laughs> not much, but um, right. I, um, I'm doing all right. I had to uh, give up driving, and that okay. was a big, big thing for me. I had a, right. I didn't expect to have to do it so soon. So okay. um, I got a little scooter, and I scooted down to the farmer's market today and had a good time in a burrito. Right. And I enjoyed that, and I, I get out with the help of the Rossmore buses, and I do like to play games, uh, Scrabble, too, on the on the uh, internet. That's fun to have some of those. Very fun, yeah. Good. Well, yeah, definitely utilize our transportation system here. It's, it's excellent. Ralph does a great job for that. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I'm glad we have it, that's for sure. It really comes in handy, yeah. Yes, for sure. Betty, how about you? How are, how are you doing these days? I'm doing fine. It's amazing how much I spin my wheels with all, even with all this time. I think I should yeah. be cleaning out my closets and stuff, but I'm putting that off. On nice days, I like to take a walk. And uh, in the morning, I have a ritual of doing about three puzzles or four in the paper. So uh, that wastes some time. And um, I watch, I've been watching a lot of TV, like on Netflix and Prime and all that sort of thing. So, okay. And reading. Any, any good movies you've seen lately that you could recommend for us to show when we can do that? I again? Just, last night, I watched the one that was just uh, advertised in the. Uh, Rossmore News about the uh, Yellowknife territory, like a snow, the Snow Walker. Okay. And it was it was very good, but I don't good. understand why the Democrats Club is particularly <laughs> discussing it because oh, it's very right. political, I think, in my view. Anyway, you, it's you never a, know. Yeah. Yep, right. Okay. I had never heard of it before. It was good. It's kind of fun. Part of my job is you know finding movies to show in Rossmore, and I always enjoy it. One of my favorite things is to find a movie that maybe people aren't that familiar with that right. they end up enjoying. That's that's uh -huh. always kind of uh, a thrill for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, what's new with me these days? We got a new puppy last week, a little golden retriever oh, named yeah. Pam. That's keeping us very busy. She's napping right now. When she's not, she's running running around like a maniac. How about you, Lana? <laughs> what, what, how's your week been? So far, so good. I've been doing some reading. I'm spending time with family. Um, I haven't been going out for a jog because it's been so hot lately. So I'm Very just hot. trying to stay indoors. But besides that, I've been having a good week. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you. Yeah, it's supposed to cool off this weekend, so that'll be nice. It was, it was yeah, awful. Yeah, it was a big relief. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're getting back into our game here. Thanks for talking with us, uh, all our, our contestants. We're in San Francisco once again. When Al Capone was held at Alcatraz, he gave regular city concerts with his inmate band, the Rock Islanders, a fun name. What instrument did he play? A, the banjo, B, a harmonica, or C, the cello? How did Al Capone spend his time at Alcatraz with his band, the Rock Islanders? Did he play A, the banjo, B, the harmonica, C, the cello? Answers, please. Betty got it right again. It is banjo. You played the banjo. Yeah, you knew that. I did. <laughs> Even if you didn't, pretend you did. All right, romantic comedies. In what movie does Hugh Grant ask the object of his affection not to marry him? A, Notting Hill. B, Nine Months. C, four weddings and a funeral. I guess Hugh thought it wasn't a good idea to get married to him in this movie. A, Notting Hill, B, nine months, C, four weddings and a funeral. Answers, please. Kent, four weddings oh, and a funeral. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Well, well done. <laughs> All right. Human body. Skin is the human body's largest organ and is constantly renewing itself. Your skin sheds 50,000 cells every minute. Over a lifetime, that piles up to how many pounds of skin? Yes, this is kind of gross. How many pounds of skin do you shed? A, 500, B, 2, C, 39. Um. In your life? Not too much. A, 500 pounds of skin. B, two. C, 39. Answers, please.
Joan hesitantly said C, and she's correct. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some weird ones this week. Questions, that is. All right. Elena. All right. A hundred year old chocolate bar sold Ooh. for nearly how much? Was it A, $50? B, $700, or C, $1,000, a hundred-year-old chocolate bar? Hmm. Answers, please. It was actually B, $700. Pretty close, pretty close. Okay. All right, how can vamp vampire vats tell people apart? Is it A, by their smell, B, by their temperature, or C, by the way people breathe? How can vam vampire bats tell people apart? Answers, please. C, by the way they breathe. Okay. Breathe. Okay. I must say this is probably our most educational trivia time <laughs> so far. A lot of interesting facts here, if I do say so myself. All right, San Francisco. When prospectors caught gold fever and hightailed it to California, San Francisco became packed with bees. With demand to build the city booming, that booming, they were torn apart and repurposed into banks, businesses, and homes. So San Francisco was packed with this item. Was it A, abandoned wagons, B, abandoned storage crates, or C, abandoned ships. Gold rush, everybody dumped these, running off to hopefully find gold. Was it A, abandoned wagons, B, storage crates, or C, ships? Answers, please. C, it was abandoned ships, actually. I guess they need the wagons to keep moving out. They took the boats in there, and they hopped off the boats and said, see you later. <laughs> Romantic comedies. One of the biggest male stars at the time, Gregory Peck, shared billing with this then unknown actress in her first leading role in the film, Roman Holiday. What was her name? Was it A, Audrey Hepburn, B, Sophia Loren, C, Gina Laura Brigida. Roman Holiday, equal billing, which was quite a kind gesture on Gregory Peck's part. Was it A, Audrey Hepburn? B, Sophia Loren, or C, Gina Lola Brigida? Answers, please. Yes, indeed. Audrey Hepburn, her first major role. Great movie. All right, human body. We're back to talking about the brain again. Your brain is always working, especially right now. <laughs> Scientists say the average person has roughly blank thoughts each day, and your mind is actually more active while you're sleeping. Interesting. Wow. How many thoughts a day? A, 70,000. B, 10,000. C, 821. <laughs> A, 70,000. B, 10,000. C, 821 exactly. Answers, please. Correct answers. A, 70,000 thoughts a day. Oh. <laughs> when I go for the high one, you go middle. Yes, it is. <laughs> Keep it on your toes this week. All right. All right. Um, the first bubble gum made in 1906 was called A. Bubba Gubba, B. Double Mint, or C. Liber Blubber. What was the first gum ever invented named? Bubba Gubba? Double mint or blibber blubber? Answer is the third one was blibber blubber. Oh, it's a tongue twister. Answers, please. Blibber blubber, it is. These are an answer. <laughs> All right. Sounded like a made up name, but I guess it wasn't. <laughs> okay. To hunt in the dark. Microbats best rely on A, echolation, B, body temperature, or C, their smell sense. What do microbats rely on in the dark? 
epilation, body temperature, or their smell sense? Answers, please. Exhalation, right? Yes, yes. So it's the system that allows them to locate objects using sound waves. All right, back to you, Brian. Kidoki. San Francisco. In September of 1859, San Francisco's favorite eccentric resident, Joshua Abraham Norton, declared himself America's blank. A, king, B, emperor, C, big cheese. <laughs> Norton declared himself America's A, king, B, emperor, C, big cheese. Answers, please. Emperor Norton, that is correct. Very good. Romantic comedies. This film was the biggest grossing romantic comedy of all time in the United States. Was it A, Crazy Rich Asians? B, What Women Want? C, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Biggest grossing romantic comedy of all time in the States. A, Crazy Rich Asians. B, What Women Want? C, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Answers, please. It was C, my big fat Greek wedding. All right, very good. Crazy Rich Asians, you would think, because the ticket prices went up and it was recent, might have been higher, but my big fat Greek wedding was a huge hit. That one surprised me too. All right, the human body. You're born with more than 300 bones, but by the time you're an adult, you have just this many. You lose them as you get older. This is because some of the bones fuse together. So you start with 300, you end up with A, 299, B, 257, C, 206. A, 299, B, 257, C, 206. Answers, please. It is C, 206. Well done, two, you got that right. That's a tricky one. All right. Um, which ancient people used chocolate as currency? Was it A, the Cherokee tribes, B, the Aztecs, or C, the Incas? Which of these used chocolate as currency? Hmm. As what? So the A currency, was like the Cherokee, B, Aztecs, or C, Incas? Chocolate as currency. Answers, please. It was B, the Aztecs. Okay. A single bat can eat more than blank bugs in one hour. Is it A, 1,000, B, 600, or C, 200? One bat can eat how many bugs in one hour? Answers, please. Sorry, what was the number? I don't know. That's okay, John. No worries. B, it is 600 bugs in one hour. Joan, multitasking well, the phone <laughs> and answering the question at the same time. Very impressive. I could have shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I meant to. I meant to say that in our little pregame thing. If, if you want to silence your phones, I forgot. Anyway, all right, moving right along. Um, I'm going to give a quick plug. I'm not going to give all the times and dates of these this week, but if you get a chance out there, folks watching this at home, please uh, give a look to all the other programs that the Rec Department's putting on on YouTube. Um, they really worked hard on them. Uh, pretty much every our department is participating in that and putting on, you know. It, creative shows that we're putting together on our own. It's a whole new thing for us and we're hoping they're fun and entertaining. We're getting quite a few view, views. We're happy to hear that. And it looks like in the not too distant future, we'll be on channel 28, uh, Lost More TV. So that'll be even better. So more people will come more easily on to fiddle around with YouTube and all that. Um, that'll be coming soon is what we're hoping. We've got a meeting on Monday to sort that all out. All right. We're back to San Francisco once again. We're about three quarters of the way through the game. So I've got some tricky, fun questions for you. This San Francisco landmark 
is the only National Historical Monument that can move, right? It's a National Historical Monument that can move. Is it A, cable cars, B, fire truck number 23, C, harbor seals? <coughs> National Monument that can move. A, cable cars, B, fire truck number 23, C, harbor seals? Answers, please. We don't Joan there. Yeah, that's right. Cable cars. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Moving on to romantic comedies. The proposals focus, the proposal singular focuses on an executive played by Sandra Bullock who learns she may face deportation from the United States because of her expired visa. She convinces her assistant to pretend to be her fiance. Who played her assistant? In the proposal, was it A, Hugh Grant, B, Ryan Reynolds, C, George Clooney, who was co-star with Sandra Bullock in the proposal, A, Hugh Grant, B, Ryan Reynolds, C, George Clooney. Answers, please. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. All right, we got A from Camp. Joan, what's your answer again? B. Our correct answer is B, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, thank you. All right. Human body. Babies in the womb grow 8,000 new brain cells every second. Newborn babies can recognize their mother's face after just A a few weeks, B, a few months, C, a few hours. How long does it take for a newborn baby to recognize their mother's face? A, a few weeks, B, a few months, C, a few hours. Answers, please. A few hours, actually. It's very quick, according to this. All right. All right. Where were vending machines created? Was it A, in New York, B, United Kingdom, or C, Germany? Where were vending machines created? Answers, please. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't get the question, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, just to repeat it one more time. So it says, where were vending machines created? Was it A, in New York, B, United Kingdom, or C, Germany? It was created in the United Kingdom. All right. So, approximately... What percentage of the reforestation of the tropical rainforest is the result of sea dispersal from bats? What is the percentage of reforestation from bats? Is it A, 25%, B, 50%, or C, 95%? What is the percentage of reforestation because of bats, sea dispersal? So A, 25%, B, 50%, or C, 95%. Answers, please. C, 95%. Wow. Very okay. uh, educational. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> All right. San Francisco, the US Navy originally planned to paint the unnamed Golden Gate Bridge its color or colors. A, international orange, B, black with yellow stripes, C, red, white, and blue. Mm. That famous bridge from Marin to San Francisco, the Navy wanted to paint it this color. A, international orange, B, black with yellow stripes, C, red, white, and blue. <laughs> you guys are very popular. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. It's all day. We'll take a brief commercial break while Betty gets this phone call. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, Bob. All right. She's back. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'll read it one more time because I know it's. Thank you. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, what what was the paint scheme they originally thought for the uh, then later named yeah, Golden Gate Bridge? Uh -huh. A international orange, B black, D yellow stripe, C red, white, and blue. Answers, please. Black with yellow stripes. Now I, that seems what? weird, doesn't it? Yeah. It was, that yeah. was their plan. I guess it's so it'd be more visible in the fog or something. But that that's oh my gosh. Uh, ugly. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of ugly, but like a giant bumblebee or something. All right. <laughs> Which of these romantic comedies is based on Pride and Prejudice? A, Sweet Home Alabama. B, The House Bunny. C, Bridget Jones's Diary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A, Sweet Home Alabama. B, The House Bunny. C, Bridget Jones's Diary. Answers, please. Again, Kent dominates in this category. Bridget Jones's Diary C is a correct answer. <laughs> Mr. I don't know any romantic comedies. I don't. It's all against. I, don't believe I got a 33% chance of guessing, right? <laughs> oh, that's true. All right. The blank does not have any pain receptors, so it doesn't feel anything, which is why surgeons can perform procedures on this body part while they're awake, while the patients are awake. Is it A, your ear? B, brain, C, the pinky toe, no pain receptors, and A, your ear, B, the brain, C, the pinky toe. Answers, please. Actually, the brain. You can poke at that brain all you want. You won't feel it. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. Interesting. Impress your friends with this information. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, this was this one was really interesting to me. So, what kind of professional invented cotton candy? Was it A, a dentist, B, a teacher, or C, a scientist? What professional invented cotton candy? A, dentist, B, teacher, or C, scientist? Mm -hmm. Answers, please. It was a dentist. A mm -hmm. dentist created cotton candy. All <laughs> right. <laughs> you um, the story of Dracula originated where? Was it A, in Eastern Europe, B, South America, or C, Central America? Where did this story originate? What's the name of the story? It was the story of Dracula. Oh, okay. And yeah, so was it in Eastern Europe, South America, or C, Central America? Answers, please. Yep, Eastern Europe. All right, good job. Yeah. San Francisco. This street cuts an east-west diagonal across the city and can be considered its main business street. A, Powell Street, B, Embarcadero, C, Market Street. Big Street in San Francisco goes east-west. A, Powell, B, Embarcadero, C, Market. Answers, please. Sure, Market Street. Good job. Everybody got that one right? The movie My Best Friend's Wedding, starring Julia Roberts, features a number of songs by this legendary pop music composer. Was it A, Burt Bacharach, B, Randy Newman, C, Paul Simon, My Best Friend's Wedding with Julia Roberts, A, Bacharach, B, Randy Newman, C, Paul Simon, answers please. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Of course, can't got right, it's Burt Bacharach. <laughs> <laughs> it's a given. You just get that category. All right. The typical human sneeze travels between A, 10 to 20 miles per hour, B, 20 to 30 miles per hour, C, 40 to 100 miles per hour. It's a fast moving sneeze. A, 10 to 20 miles per hour, B, 20 to 30, C, 40 to 100 miles per hour. Answers, please. Sneeze. Sneeze. Yeah, okay. 
All right, answers, please. It's actually C. It's 40 to 100 miles per hour. That's moving. It can spread. That's why they want us wearing masks these days, I guess. Keep things from spraying around, amongst other reasons. All right, Elena. All right, this is the last one on my category. So where was Sam invented? Was it A, in Hawaii, B, Thailand, or C, Minnesota? Where was Sam invented? A, Hawaii, B, Thailand, or C, Minnesota? Answers, please. C is correct. It was invented in Minnesota. Oh, you lose a lot, but it wasn't in Minnesota. <laughs> Specially prepared assorted meats. <laughs> okay. Bats that feed on frogs can detect if the frog is poisonous or safe by what? Is it A, the frog's body temperature, B, listening to the male frog's call, or C, the color of the frog? How can bats detect if they are poisonous or safe to eat? A, body temperature, B, the male frog's call, or C, the color of the frog? Answers, please. Yep, the call of the frog. Joe and Kent got that one correct. Okay. All right. We're down to our last few questions here. It's been a great game. Everybody's done a super job. We've had some tough ones this week and some fun ones. All right, San Francisco. What is the old army base near the Golden Gate Bridge with lots of beautiful woods and old houses and barracks called? Is it A, Fort Mason, B, the Presidio, C, Treasure Island? Old army base near Golden Gate Bridge, A, Fort Mason, B, the Presidio, C, Treasure Island? Answers, please. The Presidio, no hesitation whatsoever. Good job. Romantic comedies, last one. What song does Holly go lightly as portrayed by Audrey Hepburn playing the ukulele in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Is it A, Dear Heart, B, Love Me Tender, C, Moon River? Right? Breakfast at Tiffany's. A, Dear Heart, B, Love Me Tender, C, Moon River, wider than a mile. Answers, please. Correct answer is C, Moon River. Well done, Betty. Can you lick your elbow, yes or no? <laughs> no fair trying while you're thinking about it. A, A, yes, B, no. Answers, please. I missed the question. Well, Can you lick your elbow? That's OK. Can you lick your elbow there, Betty? Oh, yes. You can. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Show us. I don't know what we're doing. It's a family program. No. Sorry, don't count me on that one. Okay, that, we'll say that's a no. The correct answer is no, you can't, but it, it yeah. No. What don't about the yourself. inside? From the uh, inside? No, that doesn't count. You're you can't do what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, <laughs> only flexible person can. Terrible. All right, on that painful note, we've come to the end of our show. <laughs> Elena is going to give our totals for how we all did today. I'm curious. I, I wasn't really, it's, I think it's a close one again. Am I right? Yep. All right. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> all right. All right so Here we go. I'll start from top to bottom. So, Kent, you got 24 points today. No. Wow. Joan, 26 points today. And Betty, 21 points today. Wow. I'm surprised I did that well. So Joan is our, is our, is our big winner <laughs> as I drop her prize on the floor. All right. So we, we have, as you've seen the show before, we have exciting choices. We have number two, number three, or number one. Which? Oh, there's, I didn't know one, there was three. prizes. They're all prizes. You ever get, you're all going to win today. Which one did you like? You get first choice since you got the most answers correct. Number three. Number three, you have won a $10 gift card to Starbucks. All right. 
the winner's circle of trivia time at Elite Group. I'll mail that out to you after the show. I'll ask you guys all to send me an email with your addresses, and I'll shoot those out to you. Um, second place was Kent, I believe. Yeah. All right, yes. Kent. Which would you like, number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Why, well, look, it's a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Do we detect a trend here? Wait, I don't All right, so <laughs> they had a deal on, on gift cards at the same point. All right, Betty, it looks like you get number two. Take a while, guess what you're going to get? <laughs> yes, it's a $10 gift card to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing coincidence. What a, what a coincidence that is. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we don't have a wide variety of prizes this week, but they're all nice, and you can use that new Starbucks. It's kind of new. That's right, it's out of Starbucks when you're venturing. Starbucks. When you're venturing out of Rossmore, you can get a coffee or a donut or whatever. So I think we've come to the close of another exciting uh, <laughs> show. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You guys are great. I'm glad you came. Yes, yeah, stuck with the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fall over. All right, so <laughs> Kent's got something to keep him occupied. <laughs> rest of the day. We're gonna say wow. goodbye and, and have a great weekend. We'll see you next week, have same time. Weekend. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. You're all the rec department's doing a great job. Oh, thank you, Betty. Make sure we leave that part in. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're trying here. <laughs>